Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and hi if you're new here, I'm Melissa and I make fashion, beauty and lifestyle videos here on this channel. I am going on a trip so I needed to pack and then I realized as I was laying out all my clothes that these are basically all new clothes. So I was like, let me do like a haul and a pack with me so you guys can see what I'm going to be wearing on my trip to Charleston, South Carolina because I just think that would be so informational. A lot of the clothes that I got are super chic, plus size clothing. So let's just dive right into it. I'll show you what I got out already and then we'll start packing my suitcase. Well, we need to make outfits first. Also, I look rough today, but like that's just my life. So we're gonna roll with it. One of the first things I got were these Lululemon Aligns, but they're the shine ones. I don't know if you can tell, they're super shiny. I get the shiny Aligns in a size 18. I got two pairs of those for the trip. And then I got two black dresses from Hill House. I got the Ellie nap dress. I also got this one. It's the Aquila nap dress. This is in a 2X. Both of them are. They are so beautiful. I didn't think they'd fit me, but they fit perfectly. I'm just going to go through all the things I took out before we like start making outfits and also ignore the rips in my comforter. My washing machine is like destroying my comforter and I'm so sad about it. But I also got this from Lululemon. It's one of their jackets. I got it in the size 20. I'm going to stand you guys back up because I was struggling with one hand. Where is the tag? This one is the Define jacket. It's so so cute it has like a little wind flap in the back and again we're going to charleston and i don't know how cold it's gonna be so i got this when we do like hiking and stuff it's so cute it has little thumb holes too and also i'm in pajamas so again don't judge me so yeah we got the lulu leggings the hill house dresses the lulu jacket and i have two other jackets that i got this one was from j crew it's gonna be like my coat that I go out in. This one is, I think it's like a wool cashmere sort of deal. Too hot for Florida, but I thought this with some jeans and a little tee would be so cute. And it's super comfortable. And I love the color. <laughs> so this is an option that we have. I like that it's like long line. And then next, I have kind of my splurge piece. This was a splurge piece, but so is this. This is a leather jacket from Nordstrom that I got. It was originally $3.29, but it was on sale, I think, for like one something. So I hate the plaid on the inside, but you don't see it. So this is what you see. It's just like the cutest leather jacket. And it has so many like zip details. You can make this bigger if you wanted. I just think it's so cute. Oh my God, my hair. <laughs> But yeah, so I got this. So this I'm gonna wear when I'm feeling a little edgy. So we got this piece. I'm gonna run through the new tops really fast too. I got this long balloon sleeve kind of flouncy top from J. Crew. This is like a real silk top and it was on a crazy sale. I think it's originally like 120, but they had it on sale for like 30. And then I got three just neutral tanks from Target. And I got them one size up so I could tie a little knot at the bottom. I got them in a 3X. I thought this would go with any of the bottoms I choose. And lastly, I got two tops. This is a V-neck from Abercrombie. It's just a white one that's plain. And this is a new brand to me. It's LNA. It has a cold shoulder on one side and it's kind of like a random cutout in the front. It's just really cool and different. So I got this one on <laughs> Overstock actually. I'll link everything down below because some of this stuff I got at random places. But yeah, I just wanted something different and a little bit trendy to wear on the trip. But also I could wear this like anywhere else too. I have some dresses that I got from City Chic that I'm also going to wear. But then lastly are jeans. I got the shiny black jeans from Abercrombie. Those are like skinny jeans. I got, this is like a boot cut from Abercrombie. And then this is another pair of skinny, wait no. These were the skinny jeans and this is the boot cut where it has like the ripped knee and then these have the raw hem at the bottom that look really nice. So this is like the base pieces of what I'm going to wear I think. I still need to get like all my underwear and stuff like that and my bras. 
I'm doing a load of laundry right now and then I'll start putting all of these into like little outfit piles and that's how I pack I like make an outfit and then kind of like layer them in my suitcase we're only gonna be gone for four days but if you're plus size you know sometimes you're not as comfortable in some things as in other outfits so I just need options I need lots of options I'm an overpacker but to me it's not overpacking it's being prepared <laughs> All right, you guys I am back I it's been a few hours I had an allergy attack today so I don't know if you can hear it in my voice but I'm just really fatigued but I need to pack because we're leaving tomorrow <laughs> so I have some of the wonder trains I know this is like a crazy haul that I'm doing for this video these ones are the 25 inch Lulu's I have a pair that I already own and then I got a new pair for the trip you know I feel like because of my allergies if my allergies are still this bad when I get there I'm going to appreciate all the leggings that I brought so I could just wear those instead of getting dressed up and all fancy because my plan was to take a bunch of cute outfit pics maybe do a video of like what I wore in Charleston I'm so cute yay fashion hooray however I think I'm just gonna be wearing leggings unfortunately because I'm feeling so fatigued I do not know what's going on. These are still like semi wet because I hung them up to dry, but we're just gonna fold them anyway and hope life sorts itself out. So I need to start packing. I also have some new shoes that I got. So these ones are from Vince. They're just a strappy sandal, square toe, tortoiseshell buckle. Super cute. I got them in black and brown. Here's the bag, by the way. She's beautiful. So I'm going to be wearing this with like most of my outfits for my casual outfits. Maybe even my New Year's Eve outfit. But then here is the brown Vince strappy sandal. Strappy sandals just look way better on me. And then I think these are going to be my New Year's shoe, which I've talked about before on my channel. I'm sorry you can't see my head, but it's probably for the best. But yeah, so I have these shoes. And then since the shoes are new, I still have the little duster bag so i'm just gonna put all my shoes in duster bags so they don't touch my clothes and yeah let's just get packing my luggage that i use is from calpac and we also need to pack my toiletries bag i have some stuff though that i'm leaving hung up over there i think i might wear these tomorrow in the car the brown ones so i'll leave these out for me to wear i'm gonna pack the black And this is my toiletries bag that I got from CalPAC as well. So I'm going to show you what I put in it, but I need to pack more because this is stuff that I packed actually when I moved in here. So I don't even know what's in here anymore. Now this suitcase is super cool because you can lock it. It comes with like a little locking mechanism. All right, so I have all of my night clothes right here. My sleep shorts, sleep shirts, underwear, all of that good stuff. So those will go in there. I have the Abercrombie shirt, the Ava and Viv tanks, and then that black top. I hope that's enough. It should be. Then I have kind of like my going out Lulu leggings. I have four, so I have two of the Wonder Under and then two of the shiny ones. We can put my jeans in there. I have skinny boot cut and black. I'm gonna pack this bra. This is just one for American Eagle and this is the bralette that I love from, what is it called? The bralette I love from Skims. I'm gonna bring this top too. It's just that white sleeve shirt I wear a lot. Actually, I wonder if I'll wear this tomorrow. I think I'm gonna wear this with my aligns and these sandals as my car look because that's super comfortable. So we'll do that. My thongs, how many do I need? Why do I pack like I'm gonna pee my pants every night for a trip, I don't know. But what's this? Oh, this is a hiking outfit. I have my jacket from Lulu, the Skims outdoor bra. I have a Target tank, and then my Fast and Free from Lulu. So we'll put all of this in here. This should have had better organization, but I'm just trying to get this done. I have socks to go with that outfit. And then I have two hair towels for when I take showers. All right, so this side is done. The rest of the stuff I'll put on the other side. 
I'm gonna bring my Dyson, I think, to do my hair on the trip because my hair is clearly not done right now. So let me get that. I also want to bring, I like to not put this away. What was I thinking? I'm gonna bring my steamer for my clothes too. I think that'll be a good idea. All right, the Dyson will go at the bottom. Oh my God, that fits perfectly. That was awesome. My shoes. Here's all my dresses. I have one more dress to pack. I still need to pack my New Year's Eve dress, but that's in the dryer right now. So let's get to filling this up with everything I need. I think I'm gonna carry this just out. I don't think I'm gonna pack it. So let's get to it. So what do I already have in here? I have a leave in case I need it. I have my melatonin. I have a native deodorant, body wash, Q-tips. What is this? Sunscreen, Tylenol, and then I have my cotton rounds. Let me go get makeup remover. Actually, we'll just make a list. We'll just have an ongoing list. So makeup remover, what's in here? These are makeup remover wipes, mouthwash, some sort of a serum. Oh, this is what I put in my hair for styling. And then Olaplex shampoo and conditioner. So I need a toothbrush, toothpaste, and makeup remover. I think I need a body lotion too. So let me go get those. All right, so I came back with a ton of stuff. So it looks like I already have a serum in here for my face. So I have a travel size moisturizer from Shawnee Darden. I'm gonna put in my Elemis resurfacing facial wash. These aren't my favorite. I mean, I like these facial products, but I'm gonna have a video coming soon of my winter skincare routine so you can see what products I love. This is just what I have for travel size. And then I have a toothbrush. I'm gonna bring two face masks in case Nick and I wanna do a face mask together. Olaplex number three for when my hair is done. Makeup remover. This is my favorite makeup remover. These are a must. I use these every time I dry my face if I'm not washing it in the shower, so I have to fit those. Little wipies, you never know what you need them for. And then I'm gonna bring a razor. And if you're like, Melissa, why are you bringing so much? It's just the way I am. So if you travel with me, I will have everything you need plus some. I am always prepared. All right, these go in here. And then I just need this to come out here. Oh, perfect. So have the little cartridge. All right, so my toothpaste I'm still using tonight and tomorrow morning. So I'll just throw that into my backpack in the morning. But this is good. I don't think I need a hairbrush. Well, I will need my wet brush if I shower. Okay, I got my wet brush. All right, I have my bag. I got this little sponge holder Ooh. from Amazon. I just washed my sponge, so I'm just gonna put it in here. I think it'll be fine. I don't have time to wait. It has like little breathable holes. So we're gonna go throw that in the makeup bag. I'm gonna bring my Impossible Primer, I think. I was debating between my Lawless and my It Cosmetics CC Creams. I don't know, I'll think about that second. I have my concealers, setting spray. This is one I haven't tried before, but we're just gonna try it. It's the Milani Make It Last Matte. Maybe I'll bring my Instant Moisture Glow instead from YSL, bring that. Ooh, but I have this Givenchy. I'll bring my Givenchy, I think I like this one the best. Mascara, Lumi Glotion, Kosa's Brow, Jouer. I'll bring this for eyeshadow, bronzer. Moonstone, of course. I'm gonna bring a travel, oh, I'm all the way back. Travel Hourglass, my highlighter. I think I need blush. I'll just bring this one. Soft Nectar. And then I need lip liner and lipstick. So bring some Milani. I'll just throw those in. I'm gonna bring this, my matte. I'm gonna bring the YSL one too, just in case. And then I need to bring a mirror. I'm gonna bring my Chanel mirror. Oh wait, you know what? I actually have a stand up light up mirror thing. So I'll bring that too. And now I need perfume. And I need to paint my nails tonight. Oh my gosh, there's so much to do. And then I need brushes. All right, I'm gonna get a little bit more of my life together. I'm gonna bring these clips. And then I am not packing light, this is insane. But I need to turn my camera off because it's about to die. And then I will give you another preview of what I'm bringing. <laughs> This is probably the worst video that I've ever put out on YouTube, so I apologize. If I were feeling better, I would take more time 
but I'm not feeling better so this is what we got but this is gonna be my New Year's Eve dress it has I showed it to you guys online it has the see-through sleeves and it has ruffles it's super cute I'm gonna pack this now and I think that's the last of the clothes that need to get packed I finished up my makeup bag and I think I want to pack some champagne in case we end up having an early night on New Year's Eve because I don't know. I'm not exactly sure what the plans are yet. So I'm a hot mess like always. I guess that's just my life. We've added a hair clip. I also need to pack my steamer. This isn't going to fit so we're going to have to put this in the bag. How do I have a full suitcase for four days and things still don't fit? I don't understand my life. So I found one of my Henry Bendel travel bags. That's basically vintage at this point. Henry Bendel isn't even around anymore. But I'm gonna put all of this stuff in the bag. So this is the perfume I'm gonna bring. It's the Vanilla Caramel Santel. It's so good. I'm gonna bring a Mali Champagne and the Santa Sola Burketto. I also have this laundry bag for my laundry, I'm just gonna throw in there. A big pack of masks, a ring light, in case I film the video for you guys while I'm there. I have my makeup bag, and then I'm gonna transfer this bag into the one I showed you earlier. And there's my cat that I had in the past. There's Nick and I. So anything else that I think of before I leave will just go in the Henry Bendel bag. Alright you guys, I'm done packing. I hope my voice comes back tomorrow and I hope I'm feeling on top of the world. <laughs> These allergies are kicking my butt but thank you so much for watching this video and thank you for watching all the way to the end even though this video was like literally <laughs> one of the worst I've ever made. Oh my goodness. But thank you so much for watching. And if you've stuck around, please like this video and I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Bye.